You may not be suffering from coronavirus, but you may be suffering from one of its long-reaching effects. Restrictions posed on our lives as a result of living in and out of lockdown are causing psychological, physical and emotional effects, including physical and mental exhaustion. I'm Dr. Amanda Ferguson, and I'm here to explain what lockdown fatigue is, some of its causes, signs and symptoms, ideas to help you to manage it, and where to seek help if needed. Lockdown fatigue is a state of exhaustion caused by the long-term effects of COVID-19. It's a complex fatigue that is cumulative due to the extraordinary way COVID-19 has affected our lives and the ongoing problems it presents us. We are constantly having to adjust to new measures and have lost our old normal way of life. The circumstances and safety measures around COVID-19 may mean you are not able to do what you want to do. Are having to homeschool your children while trying to work from home are cut off and isolated from your normal social interactions, feeling uncertain and anxious about your employment or financial situation, worried about what the world will look like and the permanent effects of COVID-19, or overloaded with coronavirus information and media updates. Lockdown fatigue is a completely understandable response to the tumultuous change in our lives and is the long-lasting after-effect of lockdowns, restrictions and loss of our old way of life. Any loss brings grief. You may feel sadness, loss, anger and fear. You may experience a lack of morale and optimism, hopelessness and depression. The relentlessness of the virus may cause irritability and negativity. You may experience a lack of control and certainty, resulting in confusion and difficulty making decisions and maintaining your routines. So what can you do to manage or prevent lockdown fatigue during this difficult time? Firstly, it's important to be kind to yourself. Allow yourself to feel your feelings and express them. It's okay to not be okay. Be kind and compassionate to others. All of us are being affected by the virus, the lockdowns and restrictions in a multitude of ways. We are all in this together. Take some time away from the TV or your phone and give yourself breaks from the constant media and news. Be more conscious to connect with people in your work and personal life. We may be physically isolated from our friends and family, so it's important to reach out and connect in any ways that we can. Try to keep up normal, healthy routines of work, fun, relaxation, sleep, exercise, food and water. As our lives are turned upside down, it's important to hold on to our health, both physically and mentally. If you find you are having negative thoughts, try to balance each negative thought with a positive thought and keep up or go back to mental health strategies, such as breathing and cognitive behavioral exercises. If you can, get creative. Use this time to start a new project or hobby and stay productive. And last but not least, be open to accepting help and support from others. You may be experiencing a tremendous amount of change and pressures. Don't be afraid to raise your hand and say, if you're not coping, to a friend, relative, boss or colleague. And of course you can reach out to a health professional, such as a psychologist or your GP. If you feel you are struggling with lockdown fatigue or with any aspect of COVID-19, you can still seek support from health services, even in lockdown. Many GPs and psychologists are now offering appointments via telehealth, and there are a number of hotline resources available around the clock, including Lifeline on 13 11 14, the Beyond Blue Coronavirus Mental Wellbeing Support Service on 1800 512 348 or the National Coronavirus Helpline on 1800 020 080.